How I turned our old school Victrola record player into a lattice clad mid century tabletop music maker. Let's get into it. First, I cut, jointed, and planed the side panel lumber for the case. To get the appropriate width, I marked and halved these boards. Planing the rough cut edge to re-square them. With the table saw at 45 degrees, I cut and mitered the corners. Then gouge troughs in which the top and bottom panels will rest. I then went through the squaring process for the top and bottom panel lumber as well, cutting them down to size afterwards. After achieving the right width, it was time to glue the top and bottom panels together. Back to the side pieces. I needed to remove the center of the short ends to accommodate the lattice. I made sure to mark and group each piece to ensure correct placement. Then I cut eighth of an inch splines for the lattice. To make up for the 8th inch saw blade loss on the side panels, I cut 4 splines to length with a mitered edge. Then glued them to the top and bottom of each panel set. After that, I cut 2 2 inch pieces from the middle of each panel set. With all the exterior pieces accounted for, I measured, marked, and cut the joints to connect the lattice to the side panels. Then I measured and cut the lattice spines to size. Similarly, I measured, marked, and cut the tiny lap joints to connect the lattice. Once I had a good fit, I marked each piece for placement. Then did a test dry fit before gluing them together. After glue ups, I did the first bit of pre finishing to polish up the lattice joints and tidy up the top and bottom panels. With the main pieces dimensioned, it was time to take apart the record player and gather the necessary components. To 
ensure a good fit for the motherboard and face panel, I carefully cut excess backing board with the bandsaw. Using the old faceplate, I mapped out the cuts for the various knobs, switches, and speakers. Then drilled and routed them out. To make room for the turntable, I used the old MDF tabletop as a template and routed out the space. Helpful tip, make sure your bits have been sharpened or replaced a lot more recently than mine. I then rounded the top panel's interior and exterior edges. I used a similar mark and drill method for the audio output and power cord in the back panel. To make more space for the motherboard, I routed a trough in the bottom panel. With everything mapped out, I then glued all of the pieces of the new case together. While it dried, I set about making the feet. With the glue ups finished, I used the router to round all of the edges of the case except for those at the top. Then got to work sanding down the case. With the pieces ready for final finishing, I glued the feet to the bottom panel. Then used a local lacquer to seal and finish the outside of the case. After all the finishing work was done, all that was left to do was install the electronics and see if it still worked.
Thanks for watching. Got a suggestion? Want to see more? Like, subscribe, and comment below.